You're going to meet in the middle. Amen. I want you to begin to see it's already done. And as you begin to see it done, so shall it be. I just hear God saying, that even as Pharaoh, and when Moses went to Pharaoh, and Moses began to ask for Pharaoh, when do you want this pestilence, these frogs to be uh, removed? And Pharaoh said, on tomorrow. Now, anybody with any sense, but again, mm -hmm. he was asleep. Yeah. Anybody with any sense, on yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. No, no, but you want God to move right now because, see, God is a right now God. And if you can see it being done right now, then it shall be. Many of you are going to begin to close within the next 30 to 60 to 90 days. Why? Because it's been too long, too long, too long, too long, too long, too long, said the Lord. And it's time for you to begin to move into the next season. So let's just begin to lay hands okay. on them in the name of Jesus. All right. I want to say some of you are smarter than your lawyers. Ah! And I don't say that lightly. Some of y'all are smarter than your lawyers. And you either need to shift somewhere and get equally yoked with somebody that has, or you need to be with, with somebody that is at least has. At least. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we're going to just lay hands on them in the name of Jesus. And we're going to call for a release. In Jesus' name, good news. Spirit, I just hear God say, you ready to hear some good news? Oh, yes, it's been a long time, but God said the good news, because five is your year of grace. Five is your season. Five is your day. God said, get ready, said the Lord. Get ready. I hear God saying he's moving. Oh, yes, he is. But God is getting rid of, getting, getting rid of the clutter. Mm -hmm. The clutter. Because God said you can ready to rise up to the top even as, even as milk began to rise up and the oil has been placed on the inside. And I hear the word of the Lord say you've been caretaker ah. to something or somebody. And I hear the word of the Lord saying you're being released from that. God said there's a new freedom that's coming to your house. Different arrangements are coming. Something different is going to be done. Jesus, let it be, Lord. Let it be. Father, gather her children ah. from the north, south, east, and west. Put a hook in their mouth and reel them in. And God even touches the midsection. Thy inner parts, God even touch and bring healing. But it is the anointing that quickens and brings forth life even now. I hear God saying He's bringing balance. Oh yes, 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 yes. And that which would have started to come and manifest, we decree death to it. Ah, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, it shall be, said the Lord. And I hear the word of the Lord saying there are several things that concern you uh, with cases and different things like that. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, get ready for it to all not be fixed in a day. God said, I'm going to knock them off line upon line, precept. You've been waiting for deliverance. But God said, I'm going to begin to call, it, call them by one null and void. So God said, day by day, something's being cut off until you're completely free. Here God said it is well. <laughs> oh, but it is well. You have helped so many people. God said it is well. It is well. Mm. I hear God say He's going to refire you up. Mm. All for all shall not be lost. Ha <laughs> ha. And all was not for naught, said the Lord. Oh, but the Holy Ghost ah! is getting ready to blow a fresh wind. A wind of change on the inside of you. God, you've been talking, you've been talking, you've been talking. You've been preaching, you've been preaching. But I hear God say, be still, woman of God. And know that I am God. And everything that is around about thee, that would not, did not, didn't want to, didn't have any desire, God did not let me do it. Oh, but let me do it, said the Lord. Because God said, I will not make thee ashamed. Because God said, your feet is planted on a sure foundation. God said, I'm about to clean house. Mm -hmm. And people are going to fly. Mm -hmm. Bodies are flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. But God said, I'm cleaning house and setting things Ooh. in order. You and, have and, tried. It didn't work. And, and don't you do anything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Be still. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. Take your hands away because God said, I'm going to clean house this time. And you have to let me do what I have to do because I'm God. 
God said, you put your hands off of it and let me do it this time because it'll all work together. She's been protecting it. But God said, let it be, let it be. She fixes things, fixes it. Mm -hmm. Because that's the mother in her. Yeah, yeah. Fixes things. God said, don't fix nothing else. God said, let me clean house. Because this is not only for you, this is for the people Ooh, involved. See, so you're let, let me let, let me give you a word that God told me that changed my life forever. God said, never where your families are concerned, where you never interrupt the natural flow. Now, if if my son's gonna go to jail for the 50th time, I'm not gonna interrupt that. He's gonna go. See, don't interrupt the natural flow. Sometimes as women, because we have life, we can interrupt the natural flow of life. So when God is in the midst of teaching somebody else a lesson, you as the female part of God, you can interrupt that. See, men don't do that. It's just the woman with the power to do that. So when you are, when you see a natural flow and you see God working in somebody else's life, don't you interrupt that. You'll get in trouble yourself. Don't interrupt the natural flow and don't interrupt what God is doing and don't interrupt another person's visitation, whether it be good or bad. Amen. Some, you, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. He said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. We let him be the Alpha, but we won't let him be the Omega. Father, in Jesus' name, where'd my friend go? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is what I tell you. Don't interrupt the flow. Uh, what, what am I seeing? Something about education or something with you. What am I seeing? You going back to school? Yes, well, well I was a um, while back ago, I was in Virginia, and an apostle there had spoken to me that God is getting ready to condense me for where he's sending me. And so they actually extended to me my life experience, my education that I have. Mm-hmm they're going to, well, yeah. Okay, that's good. Because I don't understand that other stuff. Because yeah. uh, I see education for you, and I hear the word of the Lord saying it's going to be a little shaky at first because everything's got to be readjusted and everything. God said, don't let that discourage you because after that you're going to hit the ground running because this is God, thus says the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the house, some some items that need to be repurchased in the house. I see some things in your home that hold memories. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, clean your house and get rid of those things. And God said, I'll replace them. I slept on the floor when I first moved because I would not sleep on my bed anymore. There are too many bad memories. So when I moved, I put a mattress on the floor. I said, I'll sleep right here till the money comes from me in bed. God says, weed your house out. There are memories attached to things. God said, God said, weed that house out. I'm doing a new thing with you. And when you walk through your house, God said, I want you to only be in the now. Only be in the now. Now God says there's something, uh, there's a, a, uh, something from a family member that you're attached to. It holds a memory too. But God said, even some of the things you can put out of your sight. Because they're to go on down to your children. There's some things that will go to your children. Some things you can put outside. But the ones you know the bad memories are connected with God's a clean house. Because it's a new day. God said, I'm going to teach you how to live in the now. Thus says the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name. Bless the woman. Do you have children? Yes. How many you have? I just have a son. Okay, I see two more. Are you married? I see three. Are you married? Uh, do you see me be moved by that? She said, I can't have kids. I said, do you see me be moved by that? I, I don't care if you got a winky down there. I know what I know. Are you married? Okay. Uh, because we'll need to get you a husband first, of course. But you're in a season of healing right now. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, just be still and know that I am God. And God said, I see the phone ringing. I see people talking. I see conversation. I hear the word of the Lord saying, just be quiet. And don't listen. People talking in your ear. All, all this stuff. See, God's trying to do a healing on the inside of you. And there's already a scalp, but the scalp keeps being pulled off. And there it starts 
bleeding again. And then God will begin to heal and put it. And then somehow pull the scab. I hear the word of the Lord saying, for your own well-being. God said, you're a woman of authority. You're a woman of power. You take authority. And quit letting that scab be pulled off.